All right, everybody. Uh, today we have the Tempo One, and we're going to try to bring it up on a Variac. So let's go ahead and get started. We've got our Variac set for zero. We're going to switch on. We're going to turn the radio on to anything other than power off. So I've got it set for single sideband right now. Uh, I've got uh, no indication of uh, any lights, any filaments, anything. So what we're going to do uh, is we're going to bring up the uh, Variac slowly over a couple of minutes to about 50 volts and uh, we'll see what happens at that point. So I'm going to go ahead and start now. All right, so we're at 20 volts, and I'm starting to see some indications of activity. Uh, the filaments, yeah, that bulb is just loose. I've got a little bit of uh, glow to the filaments inside of the uh, dial bulbs, dial and meter bulbs. So we're going to go ahead and continue working our way up to 50 volts. We're at about 20 volts right now. And the filaments and the bulbs are getting a little bit brighter as we go. Alright, we're at 30 volts, getting a little bit brighter. One thing I'm noticing is uh, I am seeing that the uh, S meter is uh, coming up a little bit, and that may be uh, standard for uh, startup on this rig. We'll just have to see. Alright, we're at 50 volts now, so let's see if the uh, filaments come up a little bit on the tubes. I think this bulb is making uh, maybe not so great contact, so that's something I'll have to uh, work on. Another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, um, I've got the Tempo One hooked up to a dummy load, and that's just in case uh, there's any kind of uh, RF being transmitted, if it's in a dead key, uh, due to a short somewhere, uh, it'll be uh, safety, safely put into the dummy load. I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn on my shack radio. And it is into a dummy load as well. And we'll set for single sideband. And uh, we'll go ahead and set the radio 
for similar frequency. So normally, what you'll want to do is uh, you'll want to have the radio uh, set so that um, you've got uh, probably about mid-range on your volume control. And as the radio comes up and things warm up, uh, you'll start to uh, hear crackle. In the speaker, we're probably not at the point where we would hear that now. We're only at 50 volts. I would expect that once we get to 75 or 80 volts, that we'll uh, we'll start to hear a little audio from the speaker. Uh, also, um, you want to listen to the uh, transformer and the power supply uh, as the electrolytics reform. You'll start to hear hum, and uh, if you're capacitors are reforming properly, what will happen is uh, your hum will decrease and then you can go ahead and raise your voltage a little bit. Uh, normally you would want to let this sit for about 30 minutes and warm up. Uh, I've uh, had prior experience where if you don't let things sit long enough then sometimes you'll have issues, but I think uh, in this case we can go ahead and uh, start ramping up to uh, 75 volts. So let's go ahead and start that now. And you don't want to do anything fast with a Variac. Uh, just bring it up nice and slow. And then you can see if you get to a point where uh, you start to have issues. Of course, if you see smoke or smell something burning, you want to shut everything down immediately. Uh, the other thing to do is to monitor your current usage uh, with a clamp-on meter, like a kilowatt or something and uh, expect to see half to three quarters of the rated uh, amperage consumption from the manual. If you get over that, uh, if it spikes, you'll want to shut it down uh, just to protect the equipment. Now, as I bring the voltage up here, I can tell you that I'm starting to see some uh, glow in the filaments on the tubes. So that is uh, a good sign. and our bulbs are a lot brighter. I am starting to hear some crackle in the speaker. Uh, by the time you've gotten to 75 volts, if you don't hear anything, you might want to gently move your cable uh, that uh, interconnects the power supply speaker to the radio. Uh, you may have a dirty connection there. Uh, the other thing to watch out for is You'll have to uh, move your volume control, your AF gain control a little bit. They do get uh, quite dirty over time. And uh, you may even want to clean it uh, with some contact cleaner beforehand. Uh, of course, don't spray anything with contact cleaner while it's on. Uh, it's, uh, it's not good in tube radios because you will end up uh, arcing over switch contacts. So I am starting to see a nice bright glow and um, some of the tube filaments. Uh, about what would be expected, not anything uh, that would indicate an issue. So at the 75 volt stage you'll want to let it sit for approximately 30 minutes and what that will do is uh, it will heat the uh, core of the transformer, drive off any moisture that's accumulated inside of the transformer and then that way um, you won't have big issues uh, you should also uh, wait to see if any hum that you hear decreases in the transformer as the caps reform. Uh, basically, bringing up a radio on a Variac, what it does, uh, your caps, when they sit, uh, they develop uh, basically a layer inside the capacitor that prevents it from working properly. And when you bring it up slowly on a Variac, 
Uh, it allows uh, things to properly uh, reconfigure themselves inside the capacitor so they don't end up uh, shorting out or going open, uh, basically uh, popping open and uh, boiling out the electrolyte. Just basically bad stuff. So, uh, let's see here. Yep, I can see uh, some glow on the filaments in the PA tubes. And most of the other tubes have uh, filament glow as well. Uh, one thing to be aware of, I do have a mic plugged in. Uh, some of the reading that I did online suggests that uh, if you don't have a mic plugged in, as you're bringing it up on Variac, it can go into transmit, which uh, would not be a good situation. I do notice that the uh, S meter has come down, so that's good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring up the voltage just a little bit more. Filaments are nice and bright on the uh, panel bulbs. Filament glow inside the tubes is coming up as well. switch over to AM so we can do some testing. Alright. Oh, that was something. Let's turn our volume down. Audio, audio, hello, audio, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we are receiving. That's good. And, and remember, uh, we've got the Tempo 1 connected to dummy load, and we've got the Shack radio connected to dummy load, so we're not transmitting anything, transmitting anything open air. Uh, and I do have my RF power turned down below 5 watts on this radio. Audio, hello, one, two, three, four, five. Audio, hello. So yeah, we're making good progress there. Let's switch over to single sideband. Audio, hello, one, two, three, four, five. Yep, so we're receiving there as well. Audio, hello. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so, of course, being a, an older tube radio, it's going to have some drift as it warms up, so I would expect uh, reception to drift, transmit to drift over time uh, until the radio's warmed up for a while. Audio, hello, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so the, it is drifting. But the radio's up. Uh, the filaments all look good. So, let's see if I have transmit here. I do not. This uh, microphone may not be wired correctly. Uh, it was in amongst the stuff that I got when I got this radio, but I don't know if it's specifically for this radio. So we'll uh, try switching the uh, receive operate switch to operate and see if we get an indication. Okay, no indication on single sideband. Okay, on CW, for current, I do get an indication. Let's try going to tune. Okay, I hear the TR relay. And I do see a collector current indication. And I do have a small power out indication. So, I think this radio is probably working, uh, but we'll need an alignment. 
the other thing I would imagine is uh, I probably do need to go ahead and replace um, capacitors inside the unit. Uh, it's just to be expected on a unit of this age. But that uh, shouldn't be a big issue. There's not that many electrolytics inside this unit, so I'll get that done uh, shortly, and uh, we'll get this radio up and going. Now, before uh, we finish the video, let me go ahead and bring a cable down from our tuner here in the shack. And what I'll do is we'll go ahead and connect the aerial connection to our antenna. Well, what do you know? We actually already have receive audio. We're receiving something. There you go. It looks like it is working. So we'll go ahead and uh, get the post-production done on this video and get it uploaded for you guys. And uh, I hope that uh, you found this informative. And uh, I'd like to thank you for watching. And uh, have a great day. And we'll uh, have another video up soon.